What's up, everybody? It's Jose back with another unboxing for the Kota uh My Hero Academia Artifacts Plus J. Uh, now, I was at uh, Anime Expo with Sam, Josh, and everyone else, and they bought a lot of stuff. They name dropped me, so you know I had to bring it. It's right here. Yeah, Anime Expo was super cool if anyone wants to know. Uh, other than that, I just picked up this, really. Everything else didn't really catch my eye all that much. Uh, let's just let's just get straight into this. Yep, nothing in the box after that. This one's different. It's got a little like sticker thingy on here. Ta -da. Now this figure already comes assembled, so it's super easy. Oh wait, no, I lied. There's there's a little bit of assembly. Ha -da. Let's check him out. Ooh, you can smell that plastic. Let's check it out. Oh, there's some tape around his dome. Pretty cool. Gotta put that away. And here's the figure out of the box. So out of all the ones that are coming out, I think this one has probably got a pretty cool pose. Bakugos is pretty standard. Uh, I'll probably be picking that one up. I have a problem. I, I love my Hero Academia. But you know. You know. Uh, let me read these instructions real quick. Gotta figure out how to put the hand. Fire. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. All right. It's supposed to just. Oh, I broke it. The instructions are not clear on this thing. What? what what's wrong with it? So, so like it's a, it splits in half, right? And it's supposed to go around his arm. But it's just like, oh wait, it's supposed to go around his wrist. Never mind. Ah, oh, there we go. I figured it. Ta-da! <laughs> Idiot. And here he is, all assembled and everything. Now I did go to AX, so I did get this, you know, early. It's supposed to come out in late July, which I guess by the time you're watching this, it should be pretty late July. But yeah, I got it early on. Um, unfortunately, I did not order it from Kotobukiya. They had a booth there, which was super sweet and neat. Like they even showed off the other figures. I, I've been looking for pictures, but this is all I can get. And Todoroki is pretty much a badass. Now, I think if you do order this from Kotobukiya.com, it is $91.99. And it is super cool. I mean, it's a bit pricey, but a lot of the Artifacts J stuff is. Uh, but I personally really like Kotobukiya, especially how they do the style. I mean, the position's pretty cool for him. With the ice over here, it's like really kind of glacial. You can't really notice until you look really deep into it, but it's kind of clear on this side. And how it's like dark blue and it fades to a light white. Same with the fire. The fire is super cool. It's like it starts off as a really hot red, goes in the middle like it's like yellow, and it fades up. I bet if you put a light underneath him, it probably looks super cool. And if you do order from Kotobukiya, you get the exclusive face. I didn't really like the exclusive face for this one. It's kind of just him going. But other than that, this is pretty cool. Uh, but in the hair, you can see how it's a lot lighter and it kind of fades into a darker reddish or a maroon color. Same with the white. There's like subtle hints of gray in there. His face is pretty well sculpted. Uh, I like how it looks. Even with the burn mark over here, you can tell the two different colors of eyes. It's got subtle shading on the cheeks. The nose looks pretty good. All right, well, that about does it. The figure does come pre-assembled. The only thing you do have to assemble is the fire on his arm, which I think looks pretty cool. It's a little bit annoying, but it's, I mean, it's pretty easy. It, it like breaks apart and you can put it back together right on his wrist. I love how Kotobukiya does these and I hope they keep cranking out the rest of class 1A. I think it'll be super cool to collect all of them. You should do the invisible check. That's about it. Thanks for watching and uh, Kotobukiya send some love. Uh, please uh, leave a like if you dig Todoroki and uh, subscribe for more.